Okay, we're just going to record a quick tutorial on how to download and install the Tarot ZYX Flyballers controller program. Uh, we're covering this really because a lot of people get stuck when they're trying to uh, decompress or they see the zipped file which they download and don't know what to do with it next. So, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to run by all that. We're going to look at where we find the software, how to install the uh, the seven zip software also, and where to find that from. And we're going to put a little icon on the desktop here. I don't know something Tarot ZYX Toolkit, and place into their icons for the Tarot software and also John software, which which people use a lot. They tend to use both versions. Now the Tarot one's good for finding out what uh, firmware version you've got inside the Flyballers controller. And John software is better really for, for for sort of configging. There's also a, a condition compare. Uh, program in there or utility in there that, that, that was quite effective so let's download the uh, the tablet software first now for this I usually go to Hobby King but I know it's on there and I know it's in the right sort of version that is it's the right it's the right zip file that we want so I'm just going to type in here I'm just going to type ZYX in the top and press and, uh, we see the flyballers controller here. So we click that and, and load that up. And we scroll down to the to the files tab here and click on that. And the one we want here is the ZYX firmware v4.0. It's about 10 megs. So we're going to click on that now. So that's starting that downloading. No workshop, so the Broadband speed isn't, isn't that fantastic, but it's downloading OK, and it's a, it's a zip file here. Okay, so this is going to actually appear in the uh, in the downloads folder over here when it's downloaded. It'll take it a little while. Okay, so we're using Google Chrome here, and, and I could just click on it and see what's inside the zip, zip file. But we won't. What we'll do is we'll, we'll show it in the folder, so you can see what you would look like. We're here in the, in the downloads folder. You'd normally find it, and, and here you can see the zip file. Now, to access that zip file, we need something called Seven Zip or Zip Seven. So let's go back up here and go back back to Google. Uh, zip seven download and here we go. Seven, seven zip. This is the official site, so so I click on there. Now, if you if you don't know which PC you're using, uh, Windows, choose the 32-bit one. It'll tell you if it's not compatible. I know I'm using the 64-bit version, so I'm gonna I'm gonna download this one. Again, this is this is quite small, so it's gonna come down pretty instantly. And again, I'm gonna view this in in, in the folder just so you can see what I've got. So I've got my two files here. This is the this is the uh, ZY software and this is the uh, 7-zip software so we're going we're gonna to install this now by double clicking on it click run okay, there's nothing complicated here about this we're just going to click next we're going to accept the terms and conditions as you normally would, would do don't worry too much about these just in, install the complete package there's no uh, no bloatware in here or, or silly adverts so you, you'll be fine and click install I'm going to do, do this live just, just so you can see the full installation uh, it should ask me for a uh, an authorization in, in a moment. Here you go. So we're going to click yes on that and then just let that carry on with the installation. And there we go. There, there we can finish that. Right now, what we need to do now is we need to we need to use that seven zip to actually unzip this folder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that and if you come down here in the menu. I come across, you can see here we've got this, this 7-zip menu, I come across here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually extract this folder name. And the reason why we're going to do that is because this folder name, if you notice, is exactly the same as the file name. And the reason for that is if, if you've got a lot of downloads in here, which you probably have, I've put all mine inside this folder up here to get rid of them so you can see what I'm actually doing. But if I just went extract here, you might lose where you've extracted it to or, or what you've just extracted. So I usually choose this option, extract to this folder. It's quite quick. It just creates a folder, puts all the files inside there. Double click on that. You see there's a folder inside the folder. So we'll double click on that. 
and here is actually the program for the tarot the tarot software so if I just click that it should start and so it does so okay so we know that's there thanks right so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a little a little folder on the desktop to store that into so we'll close our, our Google Chrome down and we're going to create a little folder up here right click new folder and let's start on tarot uh, zyx uh, toolkit okay and we're going to right click this file here and we're going to select copy and we're going to look into this folder by double clicking and then inside this white box here we're going to I'm going to right click and paste shortcut. Okay, now if your icon doesn't quite look like, like that, just drop this down and select large icons. You could, you could have your settings set like that and it looks a bit, it doesn't look good. So we're going to, I'm going to put large icons. We want the John software here as well. Let's close that down for a moment. And we need the John software now. So again, back to Google. Where would we be without Google? And just type uh, ZYX uh, FBL John like this, and we find here this is FBL.net.nz. It's a John site. Okay, we load that open. If we scroll down a bit, first of all, just bring your attention to the donate sign. Nothing to do with me. I don't know John from Adam, but. You know, a few quid wouldn't go amiss. It's a good piece of piece of software. You're going to be using it a lot. So I'm going to download uh, the latest testing version. I'm going to download the zipped version here because we want to play about with that WinZip and show you that it can be used for many things, not just not just tablet software. So click on that. That starts downloading. And again, we're going to open this. In our and show it in our folder, so we see the downloads folder here. This is what we've just downloaded. And again, we're going to right click on, on the zip file, scroll down to 7zip and across, and extract it into the folder with the, with the folder name. Again, almost instant. It creates this folder here, and inside there is a nice little exe file that John's put together. So I'm going to double click that. Again, the user authorized uh, account control comes up. And again, there's no no bloatware in here. We can just go ahead and I'll create a desktop right and make it easier to drag and drop into our little toolkit folder at the top. Okay, so let's do that. Click next and install. And we don't want to launch the flybar program just yet, so we want to we want to copy that, that icon across. So we'll take that off and we'll click finish. And we're done in the downloads thing, so we can get rid of that. We're done with Chrome, now we can get rid of that. Uh, where's that? Let's see, he's put a little, little icon here. Look, all we're going to do is you can drag that up and drop that into that folder there. So when we open it up, we've got a nice little toolkit. We've got we've got John software on here. It should start up like this. Okay, and you've got you've got your condition settings here, which are quite helpful. And you've got the tarot software here. Excellent. That's not so bad. In the next video, we're going to look at connection issues. Now, how do you know which COM port to choose? I think in John software, if I remember right, like, it changes. I don't even know, oh it's not just it's got the same amount of COM ports, but sometimes you can get a list of COM ports right down here. And we're going to work out, we're going to show you how to detect which COM port you should be choosing there, should you have an issue to, to connect. It all being well, you'll be able to connect, press connect now, and everything will work fine. So, just to recap what we've done, we've we've created a little, a little folder there with those two icons in, we've downloaded John software. We downloaded the tablet software. We downloaded uh, 7zip. Where have we gone? Down here somewhere. We downloaded this little program called 7zip, which we used to uncompress the, the files for, for the installation. So, all being well, you caught that. Uh, thank you for watching.